Okay, we like to simplify this. And we observe, we see there are bigger three numbers. 99998, 9997, then 99999. Nine, 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 nine. So this one, we can write as 9995, nine, 98, oh no, sorry, 49, four, right? So four nine followed by eight minus one squared. And then nine 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 can be written as nine 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 eight plus one squared. And we know those two perfect squares has uh, relations, right? But let me just show you. So the first one square, perfect square. We square the first one. If it's a subtraction, we subtract two times the first one. Oh, that's a lot to write. Times one, then plus the second one squared, negative one squared, it says one. Right? Similarly for this one, we also get a nine, 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 a squared. You know, truly, usually, you should use T or K to substitute this number, right? Substitute this number. Uh, then plus two times nine because it's a lot of writing for this. Then plus one. If we add those two, because this is addition, right? If we add those two, what do we get? We see those two cancelled, right? We add those two, get a two times nine 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 a squared. Then plus one plus one two. Right, we could put this plus one inside the parentheses. Then now we compare with the numerator. The numerator will have this number square plus one. Denominator will have this number plus one square. So what do we get? We get one half. We get one half. We hope that makes sense for you.